Well, hello everybody! Welcome back. The G-Bears Off-Grid Way is a homestead in the desert. And I'll put the date in the title because I think it's the 25th of June, 2020. And uh, I had a question about uh, what parts are needed to modify a tote to be able to put a hose connection on there. Now these, these two, I actually tied them together with a manifold um, to, to be able to share both without having to switch over to, from one to the other. And uh, you can see most of the parts here. This is a, uh, a one inch male adapter. And the, uh, of course, here's the uh, ball valve in a one inch. I'm sorry, three quarter inch. And uh, here was a uh, one inch um, street. That's, that's one slides inside to a three quarter male thread. And then this threaded onto that. And then this is a little adapter that's a three quarter male thread or pipe thread to hose connection, hose bib connection or, or male hose. So you put the female end of the hose on there. Okay, so those are some parts that you would need uh, to do it. Now what's inside of here is the important part on how to seal it. And uh, I'm going to be going to the store and I will pick up those parts so I could show you exactly how it's put together and uh, how to make sure you got a good seal so you don't get a leak. And uh, then there'll be a couple of uh, tools that you need to, to do this with. And uh, uh, one of the things that uh, the most expensive would be getting the uh, uh, male pipe die it's a, for making threads. But to save money, because you're working with plastic, you could just get a, um, a small nipple, a, a metal nipple, galvanized is fine. The cheapest one you can find of the size that you're gonna use, whether it's one inch or three quarter, whatever you're gonna be putting in here. I, I like the one inch because it gives you more volume of water. And uh, anyway, the, uh, the parts that goes inside here, uh, I, I make, made them up mostly but there's a rubber seal on the inside of here and I'll be able to pick one of those up and show you what it is and then uh, what I used for a nut on the inside to make sure I got a good tight seal was I took a female adapter which is um, inside thread inside thread and I cut it right in half and I made two nuts out of it one for here and one for there so that's what's holding it on the inside then of course the, uh, the green that you see on here is actually goes on blue and turns green as the sun hits it for a while, but it's called True Blue uh, Pipe Sealant. It works for plastic, metal, um, you, all the different metals, it doesn't matter. You can use it for gas, water, all of that stuff. And you buy, I buy that at Home Depot, True Blue, T-R-U dash B-L-U-E. I, th I think there's an E on the end. Um, I'll, I'll double check it and I'll show you the bottle or the little plastic jar it comes in when I do the update on the video for that. I will be doing a video on how, on how it's done, how to make the hole in the cap and all of that. And you want to screw the cap on and make sure that it's sealed prior to gluing all your pieces together on there. If you're just doing one tote and you're just going to have one um, hose faucet sticking out of here, then you don't have to worry about screwing this on ahead of time. But uh, I would do it anyway, otherwise you're going to end up with your valve being underneath or off on an angle on the side or whatever. And if you want it to be right on top where it's easy to reach like that, glue it all together after you make this piece into the cap and screw the cap on. All right, so as you can see, I got water today. and. Uh, my big tank up the top and my blue barrels are full, but the little bit of a disappointment, oh, windy. The little bit of a disappointment, all that stuff up there is full. Then these two are full. The disappointment was that uh, the water supply, um, they, the guys that come out and deliver, 
the truck that they normally come out is 4,000 gallon. Well, that truck is still broken down. And they put another truck on the road, but it's a smaller truck. And uh, I think it only carries like 32 or 3,500 gallons. So I got my uh, tank up at the top up there, my blue barrel's full. I got those two totes over here by the container. And then that's as much as we got into these two totes before the truck ran out of water. So I still have um, one third of those two tanks are down empty. That tank over there is empty. That tank over there is empty. But all those barrels are full because that's water I got off of my, um, my old tank water before the truck got here for delivery. These two barrels are full. All four barrels around the corner of my um, cabin are full, and that's all irrigation water. That will not go into the cabin, that's just for irrigation. All right, everybody, that's about all I have for today. I'm going to cut this short. I'm going to get my uh, dinner together. I'm hungry today for some reason. I don't know why. And I had a good breakfast. I had a good lunch. But, boy, I'm just hungry today and hoping that... Uh, I get a UPS delivery yet today. Uh, I had to call in today and do a correction on the address for delivery, but uh, it doesn't, um, it's still showing yellow with a um, exclamation point on the tracking information. So I won't know if it's gonna get here or not. They deliver up until 9 p.m. So up until 9 p.m. I'm gonna have to leave my gate open with the UPS okay sign down there on a post and see if they do show up all right that's all i have i'm gonna go inside get my steak ready i'm doing, gonna do some steamed vegetables tonight probably carrots and potatoes and broccoli and uh, have a ribeye steak on the barbecue and that should make me pretty happy i'm gonna have uh, uh, i think i'll drink some red wine tonight and i like my red wine on the rocks I, I pour it over ice, and it tastes just like Kool-Aid. I love it. G-Bear reminding you, please give me a thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. G-Bear signing off.